Alrighty, folks. Uh, gonna do a quick video here today. Uh, got the ram behind me, so uh, be on the ram. Uh, I am preparing to tear into my steering wheel. Uh, try to do my uh, troubleshooting on whether my clock spring is bad, uh, which I believe is causing my uh, the buttons on my steering wheel and my horn not to work. Uh, but anyway, before I get into that video, uh, I thought I'd do another video uh, here on the tires that I got. I noted in an earlier video that uh, my original uh, Firestone HT, Trans yeah, Transforce HTs made it to 60,000 miles. And then uh, I had to get a new set of tires. So I was going to show you all what I went with. Uh, and it was just... It was more of what was available, I'll tell you the story, but uh, uh, it's what I got and what I could get a good deal on because uh, I put about 35,000 miles a year on a truck so uh, or on a vehicle, so I go through a set of tires about every two years, maybe a little less, so um, I don't like just throwing money into tires all the time, but yet I need... A decent tire and I prefer a tire that will give me somewhat traction but anyway here's a story um, what I've wound up with here is a uh, Falcon F-A-L-K-E-N if I'm saying that right it's a Wild Peak AT uh, and I know it's upside down but it's a uh, AT3W. Um, they are the uh, stock size, so uh, no differences in size here. What is that? 18, uh, 275, 70R18s. You can see that. But anyway, uh, they got, you know, pretty nice tread on them. Uh, reviews were fair, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so. I thought I'd take a chance on these and see how they turned out for me. Uh, I bought the tires used, uh, believe it or not. And I got five of them. And I got five rims. So, uh, <laughs> that's how it turns out. So, I have a spare rim and another set of rims. Uh, so, uh, what I did was, uh, and I've done this on some different sets of tires in the past uh, because I just like I said I don't like putting money into tires all the time so um, as some of you may know or have figured out over the past little while and uh, what not and some of you may do this as well there are a lot of tires used tires for sale that are brand new I should say or hardly used at all. Uh, Craigslist, eBay, etc. They're out there. And, uh, I mean, you can score a pretty decent set of tires for, you know, several hundred dollars less than what it's going to cost you to go get that same set brand new and put on. So, uh, knowing that, I have bought a few sets that way, and I have had no trouble. I mean, every set I've bought, whether they've had two to five thousand miles on them they were good fine no issues wore them out and you know did it again so uh that was kind of the thought i had in the back of my head with this truck when it came time and uh yeah you're limited to a little bit of you know what you can find uh you don't want to ship them in from too far away i think the farthest i've had a set shipped in was texas uh so that was a set of whole set of rims and tires and that's the thing too you get you can get the rims and tires for what this the new set of tires are going to cost you so oh uh, you know <laughs> call me cheap but that's what i do uh, so you know i decided one day i said you know okay it's time to get some tires so i called around priced some tires and uh i couldn't even get a set of the transforce hts that's the highway tire or even the eight you know step up to the at in the firestone transforce for what i got these five for with the rims 
and I didn't need the rims, but the guy didn't want them. They were already mounted. You know, you know, I'll take them. Um, so, uh, you know, I called around, looked around, then I got on Craigslist, so well, let's see what's out there. And my original thought was I'd upgrade to a, I think the, these are 18s. I think they go up to a 20-inch on an alloy wheel, which are on some of the uh, Laramie's, uh, long Hong Laramie's, uh, the, uh, oh, what's the, was it Big Horns? The, the upper trim levels, because this is the base tradesman level truck. But uh, I uh, I thought I might find a set of those, and I did find some. But the ones I found, the uh, uh, the tires, I think at the time the tires were about wore out, so I wouldn't really gain anything. I'd just been buying the rims and still had to get tires, so uh, I couldn't come up with anything there. Uh, now I, you can find a lot of these, and that's the thing. There's a lot of people that buy these trucks, especially younger folks. <laughs> Uh, sh should I say, you know, the folks that their parents have bought them a truck and first thing they do is they yank the rims and tires off and put these fancy, mostly black, whatever, rims and big mud tires, jack them up, whatever they do to them. But I'm not a big fan of the black rim uh, trend that's going around, but uh, that's just me. I, I prefer a, a chrome chrome or alloy wheel or uh, at least a what would they call that a bright charcoal finish or something something that's not completely black but anyway that's a whole other story um so like i said there's a lot of tire you know when these kids or, or whoever it is it could be anybody they buy these trucks first thing they do they they put a thousand or two miles on them and i'm gonna put a new set of rims and tires on it well the tire places aren't going to give them anything for the rims and tires uh that they'll buy them but they're going to buy them cheap so they can turn around and make money off of them so you get this other group of people that hang on to them and say i'm going to put them online and try to sell them and that's where i come in i try to buy those <laughs> so uh but anyway like i said they're out there to be had and there's some money to be saved if, if you're willing to take that chance and, and hopefully get a good set and somebody not rip you off but anyway uh, so these were here uh, about an hour south of me. Uh, I found them on Craigslist. Uh, it was all five tires and wheels. They had exactly the same rims uh, that I had. As a matter of fact, they came off the exact same truck that I had, same year model. It was a 15 uh, four-wheel drive. I mean, the truck was exactly identical uh, when I met the guy, except his truck was black. Mine was silver. And we actually started talking about what we paid for our trucks because we both bought them new and we paid about the same. It was, you know, it was an interesting story. But anyway, so uh, this is what I got. Uh, it's just what happened to be available. I have never seen this brand before, ever. Um, and uh, I, I did some quick search, some reviews. Uh, they did have a bad batch of tires at one time, uh, but there was a there was a way to identify those tires. Uh, actually, it was a batch of tires that never was supposed to be sold to the public. Uh, they knew there was a defect in the tires, and when they did, they took the DOT numbers off of them and had punched some holes. They'd pretty much rendered the tires unusable, and somebody got a hold of them and. Uh, fix like patch those tires and we're trying to sell them on the market as new tires so i'd run across that these obviously were not part of that but that was something to be aware of uh, and i think there's some legal uh ramifications uh to being caught with those tires uh at that but so i run you know ran and cr ran into that on the internet and you know it was something i was gonna look for when i actually seen the tires and I actually talked to a guy about it. He knew about it, too. He said, I don't know. These aren't. And uh, this guy had had a few set of these tires. I think the guy, he come from out west somewhere. It moved into Alabama. And wherever he come from, it, these, this brand was popular. Uh, and people like to, uh, to run them just as much as the uh, BF Goodrich uh, or the TAKOs, which are pretty pricey. But uh, anyway, um so he had about 5,000 miles on these tires, he told me, and they, they still uh, didn't look like they hardly were wore at all. And uh, so uh, 
I got all of these uh, for about with the rims for about four hundred dollars cheaper than say I could have bought the just the TAKO BF Goodrich tires and put on this truck, uh, and still got them about a hundred dollars cheaper than what I could have went and got the exact same Firestone Transforce HT tires for. So it was a no-brainer to take the chance and get them. And plus, I've got uh, sitting over here in the shed a fifth one to rotate in when I when I rotate the tires. So that's going to make them last longer. So uh, that's uh, that's the fifth one right there. Uh, I did have the uh, the tires pulled off his rims because he had had the pressure sensors taken out and I had the tires put back on my rims um, so that tire over there I'm gonna try to get a tire pressure sensor for and from what I understand I can do that and put it in the rotation and the computer you know given a few miles will recognize that I may still need to do a little research on that but uh, I'm gonna try to do that um, and rotate that fifth one in because the spare I've still got a Transforce HT under the you know it's never been used under the bed and I was gonna pull that tire and just buy three of those and put my best used one back up under there and I could have done that for about what these ran me so again I, I got a little bit more aggressive tire here and um, about the same money so so far i'm happy with them uh road noise is slightly more than the ht but it's very minimum I've, I've i've been in trucks with other tires that are really bad that were this aggressive so that's that's good they're smooth uh you know, i had them balanced when they obviously when they switched the rims on them but um uh they've been smooth I you know so far I, I felt like I made a good decision on these so uh, that's what I went with I don't think any of you out there have run this Falcon if I'm saying that right brand uh, I have not seen any other ones around here uh, I think I think there's somebody about an hour south here that deals in them where I can order them in I think I can order them from somebody uh, if I decide I want to run these again but uh, I may do the same thing and uh, just find another used set of something to put on here when the time comes again. Uh, but I do have four of these rims, this exact rim in there, and it's just as good shape as mine, nothing wrong with them. Um, I have them over here in the shed, but uh, if anybody, you know, I, I, if anybody needs a rim, has been a rim, whatever, uh, or wants a set of four. Uh, I have them. I also have the lug nuts, and I have the center caps. I have another set of center caps. So, uh, if you're in need of those, yell at me somehow, and um, we'll work it out. But uh, anyway, again, that's the story on the tires. I thought some of you might find that interesting in what I went with. Uh, like I said, I didn't really care all that much. I wanted something a little bit more aggressive that was going to be decent and reliable. And so far, uh, I've put about 5,000 miles on these since I put them on the truck. So uh, I've had no complaints with them yet. And uh, with 10,000 miles on them, I mean, they're still really deep on the tread. So, um, you know, they may work out well. Uh, but uh, that's that, the long and short of it. Thanks for watching.